Hello and welcome, Dirty William here, back with another episode of Dungeons & Dragons Online Let's Play, the Rogue Edition. And I'm just having a drink here with Jeets, uh, out in the harbor here, after running a little bit of Cobalt and your ringleader on Elite. That is the gameplay for this episode. Uh, you can see all the things that I ran up to this point down in the description. Uh, we're going to advance to the next level as a Rogue, and we're going to take level 5 because I do have XP banked. Let me show you that real quick. Um, in my bio, I have this. I just did this in a notepad that I can copy and paste it into characters. It's a lot easier than not doing that, I guess. But um, as you can see here, 112,000 experience is going to be where I, I cannot get any more XP. It's actually capped at 111,999. So I have to take level now because I'm not going to gain any more XP. That's why I ran Cobalt's New Ringleader on Elite again, just because. So what I can do is use this as a guide and say these are the points where I need, if I'm going to bank XP, this is where I need to. Most people don't start banking until they get to level 7, but I'm doing it just because there's so much XP available, and I'm doing this mostly for favor. So, yeah. so let's see. Um, we have skill points to spend. Let's go with balance. Disable, obviously. I think we put some into Haggle. Hmm. We'll, go, we'll come back to that. Open lock. Surgeon spot. UMD. And one point into concentration. So let's go back up here. Let's go ahead and put a point into Haggle. Because I think I want that. Uh, I had been putting points into Move Silently. And... Hide? Yes, hide is right here. So we have two points to spend. Now I was putting some points into Bluff and Diplomacy, kind of splitting those up. Uh, I also have Jump. I think Jump is good enough now because later on it's not going to be max by any means, but I, if I get an item uh, or a potion, normally those are plus 10, so plus 20 is pretty good. It's not maximum Jump, but still it's a thing. So. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think I'm going to go ahead and just put a point into Bluff and Diplomacy. Why not? I was putting some points also into Swim, but that's now at zero. I'm, there's not enough swimming in the game, I guess, but the Bluff and Dis Diplomacy might be useful. So let's go to next. What do we get? We get eight hit points, improved heroic durability, which gives us some hit points, plus five maximum hit points. Uh, sneak attack, die. Uh, wow, 6d6. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot. It's Yeah, that's huge. Uh, all the skills we took, and we finish. And we have eight action points to spend, again, because I banked some levels, so let's spin around here. And hit uh, Control R, and get that out of my pretty face. Now, one thing I want to take right now is I want to put some points into Staff Control to open uh, this, this fast movement. While wearing a light or cloth armor, you can run 1% faster for each of your rogue levels. That stacks with like an enhancement thing, like striders or something. So I'm going to put a point into this just to open this, and then take that. So right now at level five, that gives us a plus five percent to run speed. That just means running back and forth between quests is going to be that much easier. So the main area here that we're putting points into is mechanic. Why? Well, because we're using this uh, repeater, or in my case, I've been actually using a great crossbow, a uh, keen great crossbow, because I don't want to spend a lot of money on bolts. I'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, but let's go into the mechanic here and see what else we can take and what we need to take. So right now we're at Tier 3, which is Sharpshooter, UMD 3, and Intelligence 2. So let's go ahead and bump our Intelligence up. There we go. And we have three points left to spend. We have UMD. That might be helpful right now, but it's it's mostly for later on down the line. Let's put one point in and see if that unlocks anything extra. It does not. Boo. I'm trying to get up here to this fletching because that is going to help out a lot because I'm spending a lot of money on bolts right now. Uh, I think this should be good for now. So we go for Intelligence, uh, UMD, and we'd already had a point into that. So that should be fine for now. Uh, let's see, what do we get next level? Stuff. That's fine. And we accept to close. Uh, not a lot as far as gear goes. Pretty much the same old stuff that I had had before. Um, I don't think we're going to be going through gear unless it's a very notable item that I pull from a quest. Because for the most part, it is you want to get 
your ability scores as high as you can. So in my case, my dexterity and intelligence are very important. Obviously, constitution is important as well. So other than that, it is just find the best plus X weapon you can use at that level to make sure you don't miss because that is awful. And make sure you have a deadly item of some kind. I think I have a cloak here. Yeah, it's only deadly one, but it's also resistance. Yeah. Uh, so that's uh, make sure you have that. That will, will do, it doesn't sound like a lot, but one extra damage whenever you crit can actually help out quite a bit. So I think that's pretty much it. My, this enhancement here, the tangle foot thing, I've never even used that. I haven't even bothered to use that. A lot of stuff I need to sell. Uh, what I get on my free roll? I got this small jewel of fortune, so that's nice. Um, I have this belt of speed, which I'm going to put on instead of my rugged belt, and this will make me run a bit faster. Let's see if I can tell any difference. Not really, because I forgot I have this chronoscope thing, which gives me 40% movement speed in public areas, so I won't be able to see very much of a, a difference. So I'm going to go back in here, and I'm going to sell and repair, and I'm going to go buy some more bolts, and what I have done, just so you can see, is I bought two quivers. One there, one there. And both of these, I'm using just the regular bolts that you can purchase, and I'm also going over to House Deneath and getting these plus one bolts from a vendor there. So check those guys out. If you find any other bolts or anything like that, these will these thin quivers will go to what um, three different items up to 400. So might be a good idea if you want to use a repeater. You're probably going to want to make sure that you get maybe th three or four quivers and load them up. I do not have House Denise favor or anything like that. I don't have the the packs to gain the favor. So that's the thing. So you might want to look into getting a few quivers, throwing some stuff in there, and using that, because running out of bolts is really going to suck. Now later on I can get the flame arrow, my UMD up to get uh, flame arrow, and use wands. But the fletching will really help, and I'm, I'm hoping I will have the enhancement points to that next level. In the meantime, it's coming here and buying stuff, so I think that's going to do it for this episode. I'm going to go back and grind some more Harbor stuff on Harden Elite, and then start hitting some level 3s. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Until next time, this is Dirty William reminding you to do the dirty work.